data frame is an interesting and useful data structure for Python data analytics. In this video, let's talk about the data frame in details. First, we want to upload the source data to the Jupyter system. I listed the example data set and how to upload the data to Jupyter in this video's description section below. If you don't know how to upload data to Jupyter, please watch the video in the section below. Basically, what you want to do is go to the website try.jupyter.org and then you want to open datasets folder. Click on datasets. Inside of datasets, you can find another datasets. Click on this dataset folder again. Now you can upload the data to Jupyter. Click Upload in the upper right corner. And then select uh, any data you want to analyze. Then you want to click uh, Upload. Now your source data set is already uploaded to Jupyter system. Then you can click uh, Jupyter, this icon in the upper left corner. And then click uh, Welcome to Python. You are able to analyze the data in the Jupyter system. This is how you upload data to Jupyter system. Now let's talk about the data frame. Let's click the plus sign to create a new cell. In this new cell, we want to type in import pandas as pd. And then we want to do df equals to pd.read underscore csv parentheses and then double quotes, and then let's type in datasets slash datasets slash fitnessapp.csv and then we want to type in df. What we wanted to do is to import the pandas library into our analysis, and then we want to use the read underscore csv function to bring the source data into Jupyter analysis. And then we give this uh, data frame to the variable df. Then we want to use df, just to simply type in df to show the data frame we just created. If we want to run the script, we can press Shift and uh, Enter key on our, on our keyboard together to run the uh, script. Or you can click uh, this Run button run sale button in the upper left corner and then you are seeing the data frame we brought in from the source data set but uh, we can do a lot more with data frame for instance if i want to access all data in the incomes column then what we can do is we type in square brackets a set of square brackets and then we want to type in two double quotes and then between two double quotes let's type in incomes and then let's run the script again now you are seeing all data under the incomes column if you want to see the entire data frame just type in the data frame variable name let's try another exercise let's say I want to see all data records under state column. Then I type in square brackets, two double quotes, and then type in state, the column name. Make sure the uh, column name is as same as the one inside of the data frame. And then let's run the script. Now you are seeing all data records under the state column. Let's go back to the original data frame. Some classmates want to access to data records in each row, first row, second row, and so on and so forth. We can use the ix function of a data frame. Let's say we want to access to the first row of data records. We can do df.ix. ix represents index. After ix, let's type in square brackets and then type in the ID number 
for the row you want to access to. If you want to access to the first row, you type in 0. And then let's run the script. Now you can see you are accessing to the first row of data records. Let's go back to the original data frame. Let's try another example. Let's say I want to access to the third row of uh, data records. The third row, one, two, three, the third row with ID number two, right? Then we can do df dot ix square brackets and then let's type in two because the ID number for the third row of records is two, number two. Let's type in two and then let's run the script. Now you are seeing the third row of a data records in a data frame. Let's remove dot ix. Let's go back to the original data frame. You can also use the ix function to access to a value in a data cell inside of a data frame. Let's say I just want to access to the value 100 in the first cell, right? This particular value. Then I can do df dot ix and then square brackets. Inside of the square brackets, I want to type in the row position of this data cell first. As you can see, the row position of uh, the 100 cell is 0, right? This is the ID for this row. So let's type in the row position 0 first and then a comma. Next, I want to type in the column position of this data cell. How can we get the column position? We count from uh, 0. The first column should have a, a column position 0. The second column should have a, a column position 1. The third column should have a column position 2, and so on and so forth. 100 is in the first column, so the column position for this data cell is 0. Then I can run the script. Now you can see I access the to 100. Let's go back to the original data frame. I want to give everyone an exercise to do. What if I want to access to CA in the second row? Let me give everyone about 30 seconds to think about your solution and then I will show you the procedure. I can do df.ix, the index function, and then square brackets. First, I want to type in the row position of uh, the data cell I want to access to. The row position, as you can see here, is 1, right? So let's type in 1 first, and then a comma. Next, I should type in the column position of the cell I want to access to. CA is in the third column. Third column should have a, a column position 2. So I want to type in 2. And then let's run the script. Now you get uh, the value CA.